<laughs> oh, you know, Texas has one of, if not the largest number of exotic animals in the U.S., but not all of them are being hunted. Many start out as pets and then end up in places like the We Care Animal Sanctuary in Bar Bandera County, and that's where we're heading in this week's Texas Outdoors. That's a fennec fox. A what? A fennec fox. A former pet whose owner just couldn't handle it anymore. We have a lot of people that do surrender their animals and they come regularly to visit them. Everything from the little fox to spider monkeys and it's camels. A well, ho, ho. Very good. Even giant tortoises, Armando Mendez says he just can't turn his back on them. No, I've always been uh, called like the Willy Wonka of animals, honestly, and I just created my world around it. I mean, this is what I've done um, pretty much all my life. Hi, buddy. What you doing? So he sold his Florida business, moved to Texas, and started an exotic animal rescue. Now, you're welcome to walk in with me. They will not do anything. They'll come on your shoulder. We can talk about them. Come on. I don't know that I want this. No, no, you're, you're, you're <laughs> All yeah. over his property I, I just, are I, animals I, you'd expect to see in a zoo. Not something you'd think you do in South Texas every day, right? Hey, guys. Oh, this is hilarious. What's up? It's like Dr. Doolittle of Bandera <laughs> County. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> but here, some are free to roam where they want. There are birds and rabbits living and playing right alongside cats. And some of the ring-tailed lemurs pretty much get to do whatever they want. This is too cool. They travel from here all the way up to the front of the property, to the red barn. They visit the horses. I mean, they do it all. And they won't leave the property. They will not leave the property. They know where well, their food is. They? Mendez I mean, and his all-volunteer staff really have a relationship with almost all of the animals. When they open their mouth like that, is the mo it's a, the highest level of submission. It's a trust um, thing. You could, Much you like Mendez trusts the volunteers who uh, help feed, more. clean up, and see to the animals' needs. And the donors who sometimes anonymously take care of feed bills. If that's why it's called We Care. It's not I Care. It's We Care. It's a collective communal thing. Um, and if it wasn't for the support that we get from the community, we wouldn't, we wouldn't be able to do what we do. They don't take in big cats or any type of truly dangerous animal. Look what I have. Come here. You want to come up here? Let's hang out. Come on. Come on. They work with other sanctuaries that do that. We Care just takes care of animals that have been abused or whose owners can't. Can I see your hand? What a good girl. Here. Yes. Now those noises that she's making, that's all excitement. The best part is, Mendez says he welcomes people, even school groups, to come out and see the animals, knowing once they're here, they'll more than likely come back. <laughs> no, this is a South American raccoon. I think she just whispered in my ear. <laughs> sweet the sweet nothing. We Care Wildlife Animal Sanctuary is a 501c3 nonprofit. Mendez says he doesn't even pay himself. If you'd like to check it out or maybe volunteer or donate to help care for an animal, we'll put a link to their Facebook page in this story on kins5.com. Guys, it was wild. The lemurs were just like hanging out. Well, they're everywhere. All over. Yeah. yeah. yeah.